the sub-tactical headquarters for the Police General Operations Force, GOF, access a downtime zone for the WET-69 commandos who are part of the security cordon aimed at preventing the estimated 80 to 100 Sulu gunmen from slipping out of Kampong Tanduo. The commandos worked on a buddy system where teams take turns to replace each other at the security cordon. For the commandos, taking a breather at the subtactical headquarters located in an oil palm plantation, Friday's skirmish and the casualties made them even more determined to finish off a mission that started three weeks ago. With mobile telephone signals in the area being sporadic and being unable to charge their batteries as well, they have been cut off from their families for three weeks. Sleeping for the commandos means spreading a trap on the ground and in the open air under the oil palm trees, sometimes even in the pouring rain. One of the injured commandos from Friday's class, Corporal Tamizi Hasim, said he was on a follow patrol to recce with his elite Red 69 unit of GOF when he heard a sniper fire and a grenade landed close to him. He related the incident to Chief Minister Datuk Musa Aman who visited him and Corporal Azman Ampong at Lahat Datu Hospital. He said that shots came from the Sulu gunman's side and the elite commandos retaliated. Azman was also hit and suffered injuries to his thighs and buttocks from gunfire and channels.